the destiny raid took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. See, I don't raid. Like, I, I don't, I can't get into MMOs. I just don't find them appealing. Destiny is not an grind. MMO. It's Destiny's a pseudo MMO. It's, it's kind of got, it's got MMO aspects, but it's but not the same time enough it's got to be. With friends, it's fun. With friends, it's insanely yes. fun. Well, you can say the same thing about MMOs. You can so say that about almost any. Call it a, you can, well, yeah, you can say that about You can claim anything, child but... murder is fun with friends. I wouldn't know, but you can claim it. Oh, just like Donald Trump's great with women? So I just wanted on record, the podcast started like 45 uh, seconds ago. This is all of the intro. Oh, crap. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. I, I've I, I, re- I, really don't have no. poli- I really don't want to have a political statement in this podcast. Too loud. Suck it. Uh, yeah, no political statements in this podcast. Except for one. So... Trump's an idiot. There you go. That's the official stance. Good night, everybody. I highly doubt either of you can dispute that point. Mm. Uh, no. I mean... Yeah. Everyone okay. has their Correct. We're going, strong we're going fully we're going fully political on this podcast, there, ladies and gentlemen. Trump or Chandler, what's your stance? Trump hates anime. Kill him. Okay. Josh, what's your stance? Fuck it, I don't care. Okay. I'm gonna go side with Chandler on this that he hates anime, even though I I'm not too knowledgeable on anime myself. I enjoy it quite quite to a great deal, so Nice. Weird Does intro. Star Trek count as anime? No, but it's an animated. No, it's a car. It's a Amer. It's an American adult cartoon. So what's the difference between a cartoon and anime? Japan. That's a goddamn difference. Yeah, Japan United- has more respect for the. Well, they like to the ancient tradition of moving doodles. Yes, which is what they a like to is. get their booby physics all up in your face. But. So it's just a cartoon from Japan. Yeah. So I mean, Ruby's not an anime. So therefore, Avatar: The Last Airbender I, is not I, an anime. I, it's not. But let's be you very clear. Just Ruby triggered was, a whole bunch of fucking fans. Ruby was created. I know. Hey, Ruby was created by an Asian. It's an anime. It's an anime. It doesn't matter. He was <laughs> Japanese American. He was <laughs> Japanese American. Therefore, he is American. Therefore, he owns Korean. It is considered a cartoon. Owns Korean. Korean American. I actually have no idea. I just wanted to prove you wrong. See what you do. Uh, so this has been the I weirdest don't. intro ever. Hey guys, this Hi is guys. the weirdest I'm intro Zach. ever. That's Josh and that's Chandler. Welcome to the anime. I forgot the name of this podcast. Podcast. Hey everyone, I'm Josh. That's Zach and Chandler. Except for this Monday. is Otaku Corner, yeah. episode number eleven, and this we are. This is the first episode that's going to be actually fully featured on the new channel, the new YouTube channel, uh, Zeros to Heroes. Everything else was done on the old channel, Nerd Word. So this is the first one on that channel. And I guess right off the bat, I have a question for you guys. Yes, I eat scrambled eggs with pizza. Next question. Oh, not bad. Okay, that is information Wait. we did not need to hear. Yes, you do. If you I haven't tried it, so here. so so, are you ranch on pizza type of guy? No, God, what's wrong with you? Okay, okay, just making sure. I didn't no. want to be doing a podcast. No, I, I don't. Now. I don't want to be judgmental. But if you do that, you're probably somehow a child rapist and deserve to die. But I don't want to be. We aren't making assumptions, though. We aren't making assumptions. We're just stating facts. You're right. It doesn't have to be child rapist. You're probably a rapist in some form. Cats, okay. adults, who knows? I'd just, just like not to a good clarify person, as a legal statement that Chandler is a satirical and comedic person. He does not intend or state any factual evidence within the hour-long podcast that well. we do every week. So, uh, enjoy well, his commentary. I mean, you can, you can take it for fact. You wouldn't be, wouldn't okay, be smart so to do it, quite, but you could. So the question that I had for you guys is, is there an anime that came out 10, 15, 20 years ago that does not hold up today? That was good back in that time that still does not hold up. I'll say it. Dragon does Ball. Not. No, fuck Dragon you. Ball. Have you been watching Super? That shit gets no, weird. No, I haven't. I haven't either, but I've been following it up. Like, I've been... I haven't been watching, but I've been keeping up with the storyline as, as far as it goes. It's some actual, some pretty good shit. It's, uh, 
They bring back some old stuff and they introduce some new stuff to go up with that old stuff. Future Trunks is back. Gets the oh, Future out Trunks of- back? Yeah. Gets I thought, the- really? Young oh. Trunks beats the shit out of him. Oh! Oh crap, I just maxed out my mic. Sorry, you, everyone. You meet with headphones. Black Goku, which everyone is fighting about, although it's a very clear answer. He's what Goku would have been if he hadn't hit his head as a child. He's just evil, full Saiyan Goku. I don't get why people wait. can't understand that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is Goku, though, like, more powerful as Black Goku? Wait, why is he called Black Goku? Because he's a bit just racist. wearing dark clothes. That's, that's that a, feels a bit... It's basically negative. It's anti Goku. He's, the, okay, uh, he's evil right. Goku. That's all he is. So, wait, hold on. I have a Goku question. Goku is the new though. black. That's, that's what but it is. But is Goku, is Mega Goku still, like, super powerful? He beats the shit out of Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks in, like, one go. God damn. Yeah, Holy crap, send me this episode right now. Let's postpone this podcast. I want to watch this right now. It's what Goku would have been, what he was supposed to do. Go to the Earth, destroy it. So wait, Goku is more powerful than a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So Super Saiyan 4 isn't canon. It's not. Well, oh wait, it's not? No. Now it's Super Saiyan Blue, Pink, Rose, isn't it? They've introduced a whole slew of them. Holy Jeez. crap, what is canon for Super Saiyan? You got Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, one, Blue, two, Red, Pink. Three, eight, eight. 1, 2, 2 is also called Rage. 3, God, which is the red one. Blue, which is like after they go god, their bodies acclimate to the power change, so that's blue. I'm not entirely sure what rose and pink are. I think they might be the same thing. But, okay, uh, there's, so... I think the, was he able to beat them in pink form? No, no. Or was it just like, They oh, meet the god up. of all universes and time, and he's like a small, retarded little child bunny that everyone's scared of, and I don't get it. <laughs> Goku's just like, hey, what's up? You're a tiny dude. And everyone's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's god. Not Kami, not Dende, that's God. And he's just like, eh, you know, is he strong? I want to fight him. <laughs> oh, that, that is great. Yeah, that seems like a good return, but as good as a paradigm shift that the series needed. But no, it, it's... They're, like, with Resurrection F, Battle of the Gods, Dragon Ball is coming back after the travesty that was GT. The real answer... GT made and, me cringe. GT so doesn't exist. all of GT... None of that was canon. Non-canon? None of it. Wait, what the heck? So that was just like a lucid hmm, dream? Interesting. Just all That's... of it was basically a fever dream that Miyamoto had. Not Miyamoto. Uh, Akira Toriyama. Now, here's yeah. the correct answer to Josh's question. Bleach. It started off okay, gets really fucking weird after 300 episode story arcs. It's just... It's garbage now. It always was. Fuck, fuck you people who disagree. But also fuck me for not agreeing with you, right? Who cares? It's my opinion. It's, it's just... <laughs> I don't get it. He, hmm. Great, just, a lot more work. Just, God damn it, I don't get the appeal of Mitch. It's a Wait, lot of... Sure it's that? a lot of screaming and weird swords. I mean, if you have a show Wait, that can I don't wanna watch it. power scream Goku and Vegeta, you've gone a little too far. Bleach does it. It's just oh, that would kill me. Like at least good shows have like no. Who does? It's like eight hundred episodes and like three story arcs. I think Ruby's palpable in because those it's only like it's twelve episodes long. a season, and so like. I, even yeah. though the first three seasons were just I mean, the first, has, like, kind of intro of the first arc. Maybe the like, fi- final battle's done. It's kind of palpable, it's, uh, like, because it's so it's short. Like, that's only 36 episodes, so like, the whole thing was only three sections long, like uh, most plays are. Uh, then you're only going to have around maybe 100 episodes, or maybe 100 odd episodes. Dragon Ball... G- See, I ended with GT. I, I ended with GT, and that left a sour taste in my mouth, but... Well, that, that's great, because I, I loved it. Dragon I loved Ball it as a kid. always going to be awesome. It was the OG. Most people did. That's why they kind of have that. Because they're... When, once they realized everyone GT was shit, and they and, fight and like then the just grew up and Great Dragon, because they used Dragon Ball to do I don't even know what the fuck happened. Goku was a child, then he was an ape man, then he went back and made uh, Mighty Wizard, and get it. Wait, and everyone was like, "Yeah, this yeah. we can't end it here." So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like God, how they have Resurrection basically. F, super's pretty good. 
Although they ruined Gohan. They ruined Gohan right after Cell. He yeah. is a bitch now. He's not. Yeah, I, I, I like how they gave him basically superpower. Then I was like, oh, he's restraining himself. That's kind of a cool progression to see in the universe, cool, like, like, no, he's just a character. A doopy but, little but then, like, and sports jacks all the time. He can't even beat Freeze's men. Bullshit. Well, they meant they made go. Sorry, we just kind of overlooked that. They made Gohan so powerful for a while there. Because they intended to stop Goku's storyline and have Gohan become the focus point of the story and tell I, his story from then on. But everyone was like, no. I, I want to see... Because goddamn like fucking Goku. So like, alright, well, goddamn Goku. And then they I watched it all. With Don't even remind me. I, I I try to block that from my memory, but it comes back. Galaxy Dragon Ball but I want Dragon. Goku... I what? want Gohan back, because Gohan was like one of my favorite characters, and I also want that Gohan Piccolo, like that mentorship type thing. I would love that. Like, that, like, Why did Goku become a child? The Freeze... Because Pilaf did something stupid. I still haven't Fuck seen me. it, and I, like, I've opened their page, and then I haven't seen it, and I want to see it. Uh, but see... Oh, sorry. Which is what? Team 4 Star it takes endless joy in mind. Yes. It's... Really, yeah. I've, Frieza's saga was the best saga. Yeah, I've never Frieza's saga seen was the any best of saga the of Dragon Ball. actual Dragon no, Ball series. I've done. only seen Team Four Stars of Bridge. What? It's just as good. What? Though. How? How can it be better? While being funnier. Oh it my is. gosh, that is what the show needed. I oh. didn't even realize I wanted yeah, that until I heard the that. The Bridge series is better. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so much better. Because Frieza's a sassy dick. <laughs> I gotta. Oh, can we talk about this next week? This team four star. Wait. Okay. Let me make fun of the Power Rangers. Vegeta loses goddamn mind. <laughs> All right. Welcome, welcome to the Otaku sure. Podcast. Sure. Zach and Chan there run amok and Josh tries to run them in. The next, the next episode's due to come out pretty <laughs> soon. <laughs> Yeah, give or take. Yeah, let's play channel pretty good. I don't give a fuck. Can I make wide declarative statements and either piss off or make a lot of people laugh? Either way, I do. Cool. We don't care. Yeah, see, he, he's still salty off. because it him. ended in a bad time. It is right just before he got right broken up with his girlfriend. Three goddamn and... years of make, watching her waste pizza. Oh, more before that? I thought and it was yes, like... Yes, massages. Oh, Wherever we... the fuck. Just... Why? It doesn't go well. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, one before that. One before that. Yeah, no, Alex and I are cool. Got broken up. That is bad grammar. Alexandria and I are. Uh, but no. Just... Don't, you don't do that. It's cheesy and saucy and bready. Fucking pizza. I'm just and yummy. Out. It's, it's just, you don't put ranch on it. You don't. It's just, ah, you're no, you really don't. You're all monsters. So, so let's actually get into the main topics of what we watched last week, which were Assassination Classroom, if you guys haven't seen Season 1, season one and also Season 2, as well as One Punch Man. One Punch! So let's start this off with uh, Assassination Classroom. Uh, one thing, real first, Matt. If you haven't seen the band that sings the One Punch, song, One Punch Man theme song, watch the music video. It's basically every member is an Asian Stephen Tyler. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> phenomenal. It's just I've got to see Asian that now. They all look like Asian Aerosmith. It's great. It's insane. Hmm. But alright, Assassination Classroom. God damn! The one of the best series in the past few years. There was even a Shoku Geki no Soma joke in there. There, I think this series Ooh. is one of the. Make fun of other of running anime. Yes, it's also great because it does fourth wall justice. It doesn't go overboard, but it just makes yeah, some, like, fun jabs at it. And I love any It was so. Uh, <laughs> Great. 
I love anything that doesn't. Mm-hmm. And you Wait, cannot did you tell me a that out? Trent, no, I still you did not cry face. during the ending of this series. Oh, awesome. How, how thick did it get? A manliness. Yeah, right. My beard. Really? Oh. My beard. I was crying like a baby. Oh, yeah, you know, you gotta gonna admire a good beard, though. You gotta admire that. Nice. Uh, it got longer than my actual head hair. Yeah, no, it had to come off. I would have had to start wearing. This is not beard talk. I would have had to wear a head edit. Carl said they wore a beard. He did. That's a costume. Which, if you don't know, Thorosente is a giant squid like alien monster, super big, capable of immense power, and can destroy the planet if he wants to. And the whole plot is these students, basically, students basically on academic probation, almost flunking out, bottom of the bottom, are charted with one year to kill him with special knives and special BB guns. Which just look like real fucking knives, real fucking guns, in all kinds of purposes, because they do hurt him like a mother. And it's their ensuing transition from students to assassins. So to I people. have a question. And it's great. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about this. Classroom. And there's a shitload of jokes about other animes in there. Assassination, assassination Classroom. At one point, he just puts Naruto headbands on people. Because he can move at Mach uh, 20. Oh, that was amazing. There's a lot he of action at... film. Yes. Did you know that? Uh huh. And it was the 10th highest grossing Japanese film at the Japanese box office of 2015. I haven't seen it yet. I was... Like, the second film... I don't film, know if I want to watch Love Action. Oh, crap. The second film was released in this year, 25th of March. I'm not surprised. It's a good fucking series. Everybody loves it. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, in English, the title of the secret... Uh, second sequel is Assassination Classroom, Graduation, and Assassination ah, Classroom. God damn it, now I have to watch both of those. So. Not what? There's a the second film? So, they made two. Of people killing a giant octopus. So, yeah, they no. No. We have to watch him die again. crying all over again. Oh, no, no, it's just... It's a happy, it's a funny, it's a heartwarming thing. Who laughs you can like really a maniac. Tell, you can really tell if a series is good, if it can make you, over the course of a couple seasons, really invest your time, really get you about a so emotionally of invested. I care about, yeah, I care about every single one of those little motherfuckers. Quite a few. Even the oh, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Even the asshole. Even the asshole. Karma is an asshole. He's a genius asshole, but he's an but asshole. But he's an asshole. I don't care if your argument is valid. It is invalid if you're an asshole. But, no. Great show. Everyone should watch it on the planet. We, sh we should show it to, like, starving Ethiopian children and tell them well, that's actually what Japan is like. <laughs> That'd be probably social experiment. Also a bit uh, cool. Those social experiments aren't funny anymore. Eh, well, it's probably why there's no season three of, um... Whatever the fuck that social show called on Rooster Teeth. I can't remember anymore. So social Disorder. Social Disorder, that's it. Yeah. That was a good show. But no, Assassination Classroom. I mean, just the name of it. Assassination Classroom. That just grabs your attention. Like, oh shoot, what the fuck's this about? Giant students trying to kill their teacher? Why not? But in a fun, mm -hmm. not murdery way? Sure. He wants them to kill him. But he yeah, won't. It was a he doesn't very make it easy. nice, very simple plot that had a lot of heart to it. He blew up the moon, he'll blow up the earth. Kill him. He didn't blow up the moon. That you're not supposed to know that. Fuck you. You don't find that out until like the last three episodes. I know. It was really nah, it's halfway through season three. <laughs> And technically, uh, there were technically there's three seasons of it, because in the middle of season two, it changed from season two to the final season. Oh yeah, well, yeah, Japan's weird about that. It's like everyone yeah, calls season two of Sword Art Online the Alfheim arc, where they're fairies and shit. No, it's just like an half season one. 
Season 2, Soda Online 2. I should know, because I watched all of those live week to week, and there was no muck gap between them. It was just... Alright, he's out of the nerve gear. Okay, he's back in the nerve gear. It's all us. Time gap or... None of that shit. I didn't wait for the English it I watched sense. it in the fucking Japanese. It was like three years ago. You can show. You can show. But yeah. Assassination Classroom is great. One Definitely Punch Man on my list. is a fucking ride. Yeah, so let's talk about One Punch Man. One Punch! You first, Chandler. I uh, love everything about this show. It's literally everything about it. Just phenomenal. In episode one, you meet a lobster man trying to kill a child because he drew nipples on him. That's enough said. That You can watch the show. It's just... A guy who's bored from day to day life comes, you know what? Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna be a superhero. So he becomes a superhero for fun. Then he makes an actual job out of it. And he's the best, and no one can recognize that except for his assistant. Because just the circumstance, a bunch of shit happens, but hands down, stronger than everyone else in the fucking galaxy. Not like Goku levels, he's just so fucking passe about it. He's like, oh, yeah, that was fun. I haven't had a good fight in a while. Well, yeah, it's, the guy, guy needs to fight. All right, let's go fight him. He calls himself a hero. He's a hero who, that, for a hero for fun. He's a hero who does it as a hobby. Great, music's awesome. Fight scenes go from like the goofy, plaza, just padding animation, which is kind of softer. So when shit gets serious, everything's in fine detail, sharp, animated to the last detail. Ah, it's fucking great. Music's all like metal yeah. and heavy. Not. Yeah, the uh, Agent animation Aerosmith. and yeah, the animation and the soundtrack were pretty good. Dun, 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 However, dun, 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 I do have to say dun, dun, dun. I was not satisfied with this series. Sorry about that, I hate you. but I wasn't. Why? So I wrote on Facebook yesterday, and this is just my opinion. I said, other than a pretty good theme song. Uh, the rest of the show was just a pretty bland, all-out action slaughter fest. True. If it had a bit more of an actual story, it, does. it might have actually been perfect. Wait for season two. Other than, yeah, the only thing that was really interesting was the fact that we got to see a little bit of Genesis' backstory and the possibility that we might getting be getting more of a story centered around him in season two, which I'm really you, looking you forward me. to. Oh, shut up. But I am disappointed. For my for me this is my reaction, so I only gave it a seven out of ten. Fuck you. That's my reaction. Fuck yeah, you guys. My... You're a monster. Go care. put ranch on your pizza. I don't care. I won't put ranch on my pizza, but I won't give one punch man a ten out of ten. You're right, you're giving it eleven now. Yeah, that's how it's gone down. Zach, did you have time to watch this week? I apologize, my mic was muted. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was wondering where you went. I, I had time to watch Assassination Classroom, and I found it completely enjoyable. Uh, the animation style was modest, not too crazy, not too wacky. Uh, had a set up for Vrasil Mill. I just forgot my own word, but, uh, I have it written down right here, but I can no longer pronounce it. Uh, real life-like appearance is what the word means. Maybe someone knows the word of versillimilitude. The fuck are you uh, talking ver about? It's vermilicillitude. I don't know. I, 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 I can't miss, I can't pronounce it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm no big right. words. No big words is my, <laughs> no new words. Read my lips. That, uh, you you can't. disappeared, you came in, and started talking about South Finnish culture, and then made up a word. What the hell's going on? Okay, so it has a real life like focus, even though it's an animation, it kind of tries to say, hey, this is something like, even though it's kind of got this wacky plot, it treats it and it keeps it grounded throughout yeah, the whole time. Yeah, it does time. tackle like the whole take your school seriously, what, consider what you're going to do with your future real. Yeah, it's uh, like it makes emphasis it, like, on seem personal like, growth mm -hmm. development. It's got more moral plots than yeah, it does. A lot of moral plots. Oh, hey, this is this is crazy. Like it's like, oh, this is what could actually happen. It's more of a story if this of existed. characters. 
It is, and, and I, I enjoy that. Yeah, that was great. It's, it's not, it's not a plot. It's some more of characters. Sorry, everyone. I used a lot of words to say what Chandler just summarized in two seconds. I don't. Words <laughs> good. Words. I are good at them. But yeah, it's a good series. It's uh, mostly about the characters interacting with their teacher and each other more than the whole. Hey, one's gonna blow up at the end of March, so we should probably do something about that. This guy trying to teach his kids while they comically try and stab him. I I, I do like yeah. that. Like I almost want Brett the monster. I, I almost want, want the monster to win, but then I remember yeah. he's going to explode. It's the earth. Great. Uh, I, I'm like, oh, I I hope he lives and just understands the kids, and they just all leave together. And then I'm like, oh wait, he he's going to kill their, everyone on Earth. I'm like, wait, I not on purpose. Have for the kids. Wait. Oh yeah. Dude's just a fucking time bomb. It is well. It's Shiro's fault, the bastard with one eye. I know. Fuck I that know. guy. That you know what? An Shiro's the real villain of that show. Kinda, yeah. Keeps fucking with people. Really is. He kills his fiance slash original teacher slash girlfriend. Almost kills the little sister. Makes Itona like into a fucking psychopath. Makes the Reaper oh, 2 man. into a fucking monster. Tries to kill the Reaper students on several out. occasions. He's an asshole. Biggest asshole. Yeah. Ah, that's a good show. I love him both. Yeah, dur towards the end of the series, I was like, uh, when they said they wanted to try to save him, I was like, could this series actually divert from the actual manga? Could they actually save him? Nope. I wish they did. Yeah, it would have been nice. But then again, Kuro Sensei did make a jab about making a spin-off manga series with him still alive in it. Yeah, so that was... Like, that would have been... That would be nice. 10,000 page goddamn yearbook. Oh, man. That was... Did you finish it? Not even close. It's been seven years! I know. <laughs> Some twists in there I was not ready for. Oh, yeah. Just, just a pleasant, happy, feely show about students trying to kill somebody. And growing in their personal relationships and in who they are. And a teeny bit of cross dressing. <laughs> uh, cross dressing. Just nice. twice. Uh, that... Just twice. Maybe three yeah, times. Was... I don't know. And Karma and the other girls trying to oh, yeah. sell him. <laughs> yeah. Basically, try to sell him like a prostitute. Almost worked. It almost did, yeah. And the dude misinterpreted was like, wait, you're a dude? Oh shit, nigga. Yeah, he got really, like, saddened by that. But then he went and helped them by writing an online view about their Japanese festival restaurants. Ding -da -ding. Oh. You ever stop and think about what sentences about anime and realize like, how goddamn really cool does that sound? Why don't we have to go festivals? That sounds awesome. Just because sounds... the American school system sucks. Yes, it does. It's up the colleges, which I, do really good. I wish our school shut down for like two week periods where we can build and do shit and get graded for it and make money. Be awesome. Right? Like a science fair, but but not I'm bad at science. They brought back all the old assassins for the restaurant episode. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. The one dude Guys. who eats shit with a gun for some goddamn reason. I don't know. He was he's weird. He was weird. He was really weird. Just an odd character. Good assassin. So were there any insane? Yeah. So were there any uh, any high points? Any favorite scenes that you enjoyed for Assassination Classroom? Um. Uh, yeah. All of it. No. Um, All of it. Hmm. Probably. I just love how, like, whenever they're doing something out of their main classroom and he's an alien or a monster creature that the world's hunting for, so he can't really just be seen out and about. He just disguises himself by, like, burying himself in the dirt and painting his face to look like a giant baseball. He just hides himself places and everyone's like, I wish he was here. Oh shit, he's right there! The worst disguises and yet the best yeah, he, like, disguises. Yeah, makes himself. Gray and has like really fake hands and weird hair. Draws on eyebrows. 
<laughs> they call their female I teacher Professor female. Bitch for two years. Oh, God, that was amazing. Like, they never stop. Even the last episode's like, thanks, Professor Bitch. For being, oh, you guys. For being a bitch. You helped us. And then she went rogue and she was okay, but still. I was not ready for the ball about Koro since his past. No, I wasn't. It was very Watch it to find out. Great. Alright, so what's next week? So we... I feel like we haven't watched the po- we haven't watched an anime that we haven't said Oh, don't watch this one. You're wasting your time. Like, I feel like we haven't traumatized ourselves with that yet. I mean, for the most part, I'm just recommending good shit for you to watch. That I don't mind you watching. Well, if we want to watch something, well, well it wouldn't we really be that fun. We don't but even know it's, it's bad. I think we need to try something that's, like, very low-key. Like, that's not into the big anime community. Like, Well, if you want to watch something horrifying, something that you might not want watch to party. watch, then Corpse Party or Higurashi. No. I don't want to just horror. I want to, like... There's two really fucked up shows or, I've watched. Or not, I don't want a bad show. I just want one that, like, we don't know if it's good or bad. Like, it There's a show movie. I can't decide is really good or really bad. Crap. There's, I guess the anime community is, like, rabid, rabid because, like, every yeah. anime show that's out there, like, it's been reviewed, basically, and, like, it's got its plot, it's got stories. I know mm-hmm. two shows I can't decide if they're good or bad. There, I watched ones? them very early when I started watching them, like, I don't know, six years ago. Um, myself, Yourself, and School Days. Both I thought would I just be never... happy school animes. Holy shit, I was wrong about both. They start out that way, then get, like, really, really very fucking dark. dark. Real fast. Like, yeah, there are a lot of those that God damn. actually did I was that. not ready for school days when I was 15. What the fuck? Whoever wrote that has, like, serious mental issues. Or needs to see, like, a shrink. Just, yeah, that was so weird. Myself, yourself. Yeah. It ends happy, but there's some, it's a rough, it's hard to power through it. Clinad, Clinad just broke me with that. Ah, oh, that was a good job. It destroyed me. That was a good job. Starts off happy. Yeah. Then everyone dies, and then they wish on the weird orb bunnies, the ultimate world shit, which I don't quite understand even after watching it like five times. It's the sad music that I can always remember. Mm-hmm. It's just like violins and shit. <laughs> okay, so... For the mm-hmm. anime for next week, I have two that we have to do. Okay, so I thought we already said we were going to do one earlier. Does anyone remember what we said we're doing for next week? You said the Frieza Saga of Team Four Star. Frieza Saga, or no, 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 we're just doing Team Four Star, like all of it. That's like nine hours of work. Oh, Give or take. I mean, well, if you if we, you skip season we, three and just watch. The season three? I mean, like, it's the Cell Saga. It's better than the actual Cell Saga. Okay, it let's, really let's is. do season one for next week, and then we'll like well, we can, that the, way we can just space I it out. I want to get at least how... th- like season one's about an hour or so. If you include oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, one that, and two, that's what I'm saying. That's that, about that way we watch three and a half hours. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. Like we watch a season, and we can make an episode about that season. Like that way we have a nice in space. Yeah, but it took a while for season one to get. Through. Yeah, but then we can talk about the good and the bad. We can talk about all the good episodes, the bad episodes. Yeah, but I would just, just have to do my Nappa and Vegeta impression all the time. Vegeta! I mean... God I mean, damn it, I, Nappa. I feel like that's something that's missing from this podcast, is we're not, like, reviewing the actual episodes themselves. Like, we're just kind of doing... Oh, generally, overall... Well, we're new watching good. two shows at once. It's hard to do Well, yeah, I feel like we should uh-huh. cut it down to one. Uh, and that way we're able to talk a bit more in-depth. Because I feel like we're trying to cover all of anime, and we shouldn't, because, like, we're never going to cover it all. We can do it. And well, we're just trying to get you into anime. I'm into anime, if that isn't obvious now. You guys have sucked me down a hole that I'll never get out of for the rest of my life. It's like alcoholic addiction, which is bad. <laughs> I can ne- I'm like never going to get out of it. Oh, shit. You went there. Like, you just need to... 
I, I'm already in it, so I think we need to, now that we have this kind of formula and you've kind of introduced me into this, I think we need to go down to the level of where it's going to really show, hey, you guys have a lot of information because you guys have a wide repertoire of uh, shows and animes that you've seen versus me who's only seen a few now. And so I'll try to base it off and be like, oh, yeah, I thought this episode was good. Well, you guys might say, oh, no, this episode was crap compared to something else. Well, episode specifics are a lot easier for something like Team, team Four Star because their episodes are, for the most part, 10 episodes, 10 minutes. And you can talk about, well, like, basically, I consider season one just a long episode. Because it's about an hour, and that's almost a season, that's two episodes of a normal episode. So it's well, easy to get into specifics and detail. Well, see, we, we can do that for something like Team Four Star, which is, like, ten minute episodes. But something like Fully Cooley, uh, Pretty which good. isn't it, because it's a great example. Uh, we can Pretty talk about uh, general plots of episodes and how it all kind of came together. And so, because that's like a 22, 30 minute episode like most will be so we can maybe dip in and out of specifics yeah but that's so right episode. now it feels like we're running out of information to talk about and that's why we're kind of sidetracking over to different subjects i don't think episode i don't think uh episode reviews are good for podcasts I, I, i'm not I saying they're episode, i think I'm they're better seasons. as videos but then again we already then again there are already a couple of guys who are bigger and better who have already reviewed. Yeah, but that's mostly just the reaction reacted. videos. Well, well, I'm not. True. I'm not saying at per like we do one episode at a time. I'm saying we do seasons. Like for Fully Cooley, we talk about all Fully Cooley's first season, even though it only has one season right now. So, sad. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, so season two is coming out soon, or not soon, but next year. N- never soon enough, but next year. Um, but, like, we talk about seasons, so, like, if we're talking about Fully Cooley, we'll talk over all six episodes, but this way we can go from, like, episode one, we're talking about everything that occurred in episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four, episode five, episode six, and then, like, for something like Team Four Star, we're talking about, like, Team Four Star, okay, here was season one, it's kind of short, but we talk about, like, just kind of dip in and out, and this way we weave a more detailed picture of what's going on in each season. Yeah. I get what you're saying. For the most part, I just compliment you each show. Yeah. You're a pretty simple-minded guy, Chandler. I respect that. Bitch, you just called me dumb. No, I, I called you... I'm kidding. I, ca- I called you peaceful. I called you... And you enjoy life, which not many people can do. Sick of Vegeta. Vegeta. Kakarot! It's a Pokemon, Vegeta. I like. I love oh, crap. Napa. Wait, no, that's Team Four Star Vegeta. Napa is so much better than normal fucking Napa. Normal Maybe? Napa dies like right away. Team Four Star Napa is immortal. So wait, they just re that. It's they just reuse the same pictures, but they they for the most part they just take it, right? clips and scenes. Some of them kind of throughout the series because they're just easy to make. But they'll take bits and clips from the episodes from the season they're actually doing. Like the fights and all that, they'll dub over it. Like the mouth movements, they'll edit the clips, like and kind of copy and paste some certain parts and just make a mouth match what they wrote. And then other parts they just that's called lip flapping. Yeah, lip flapping. Other parts they just kind of animate in a mouth, or like move the pupils on the eyes. It, it's just it's like normal Dragon Ball, but a lot funnier. Because Goku is okay. a yeah, fucking and, idiot. And the f- so season and the one, three, the three, and the three big series, the three big abridged series are Dragon Ball Z abridged, Sword Art Online abridged, mm-hmm. and Helsing Ultimate abridged. And those. The reason why I want to do more seasons is because I'm running out of time in my week, guys, and I need to cut down the time I'm sitting Wait, on my computer. Uh, Cyberman. Did we miss some Cyberman? Yeah. Uh, we Saba man, Saba man. Vegeta gets shit on so much and abridged. I I love how like Yama. Oh, oh my gosh! Fuck you, Yamcha. Every, every, yeah, Yamcha. I was like his name. His middle in part the of show, his name, he's a joke. In a bridge, yeah. he's everyone's toilet. 
Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> so it's, it's great. It, There's literally it, a counter like, every time Krillin dies, and it goes up. There like, is one. a Krillin own count. Krillin gets poked. Ding. Two. Yeah. Ding. Three. I, I really like the Yamcha, though. Like, he's like, oh, hey, guys, how's it going? He's like, are there any of those green dudes anymore? And then just one of them shows up. And My I'm name just... is Dende. That's cool, little green. <laughs> Let's go, little green. <laughs> My name is Dende. Say my name. Uh, Your name? Say my name, and I will heal you. Little green? <laughs> it's Dende. Say Dende. It's Dende. Goodbye. And just flips off without healing Vegeta. <laughs> He's a dick. Oh, oh. I fucking love Dende. Oh. Uh, super, kami, super Kami Guru. No. I saw a bird. Kick its ass. No. Don't let it in. I saw God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what we're reviewing. This I do a, a really good uh, Super Kami Guru. No. I saw a bird. He's a tool for my amusement. Don't, don't let it in. Oh, God damn, damn it. Damn it. No, 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 <laughs> oh, I really want to watch Four Star right now. Man, I almost just like leave this podcast. So your parents died, huh? <laughs> like Batman. I don't know who that is. No, 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 no. Dandy. 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 Alright, so I don't do a no. great comic guru, but the ones, the stuff I get really good, I do really well. No. No. Are you there? No, are you there? Stop making out outside. with your boyfriend! It sounds like <laughs> this! I think, I definitely think we should at least have a simul watch of season one and two, just us. Okay, I, I'm Come here, that. little boy. I will unlock the power held with it. Uh, I need an adult. I am an adult! I am an adult! <laughs> I am an adult! <laughs> I will unleash your true power. <laughs> That's it, was, it. It wasn't much. Hey, don't let them, <laughs> Don't let them steal the TV. We don't have a TV, Tommy Guru. No. no. Gather the Dragon Ball. It <laughs> it's such great writing, and they're based in Texas, and I want them. Oh my! Wait, oh, they are, they are amazing! Yeah, not, oh my gosh! Oh, we gotta go see them sometime. Oh my gosh! And they come out with a new episode every couple go hard months. Why didn't you Ooh, dodge? So... There wasn't much power. The dodge they, they, drama. They, they've taken all the Dragon Ball Z movies and a bridge to those two. Fucking yes! <gasps> I, I can't! I can't wait to watch the uh, life. Free... I can't wait to watch the drill. The, the person, Christmas the pink fat one. blob. I I can't wait to see who what they've done with his double overs because he was already silly as it was. Uh, Doctor yeah. Queen, uh. super brain, Android thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to Android thirteen? <laughs> He's trucker head. <laughs> uh. What did they do to Android fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen? You'll see. You'll see. <clears throat> And there's a Whoa, tr Christmas Josh. tree of might. Someone's got a crush on someone. He, he likes Come the purple. Android, he what, likes the 18? alcoholic purple midget. Yeah, I'm, I'm referencing 18, which you kept called. And no so little does uh, Krillin. Hey, but Krillin and hits it, actually. Like, Kr Kr Krillin doesn't mind that, uh, like, he's he just hit metal. Like, I guess he's got enough power to just ignore it, or he dents it enough to, like, where it forms into his skin. I mean, she's not actually- she's actually a, a cyborg. She's part human. They just call her- <laughs> Well, I mean, but where's is... that- I mean, but where's that metal? Like, like, is it an- in, 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 Is it an inside metal skeleton? You're like, then how does, like, that happen, and how did they get how a How do we go girl? kill Son Goku? In a minute, buddy. I really want to be killing Son Goku right now. Just look at your birds, buddy. Mm. Uh, I love when they use, and the uh, fucking time where Krillin got a uh, health insurance or life okay, insurance. I, I guys, guys, next, okay, okay. Next okay, week we have to watch stop this. One next week, next week, season yeah. one and two. Next week we're talking about season one and two of TF. 
S's. Subscribe oh. to Nerd Word. <laughs> Let's try not to make ourselves laugh because it's like I've been dying over here. I apologize. Oh I, crap! I need I, to check my audio. I, oh crap! This is gonna be bad. I probably missed nah, it. Too hard. Too bad. You're fine. I'm gonna edit it out. So. I propose right after this we simulcast most of season one. Alright. I gotta go. Like right after? I gotta go dog sit again. Let him out one last time. They probably won't be able to do that. I'm like, I, I, I gotta hit the Fucking hay. Because I gotta get up early tomorrow. Goddamn house. Sorry. Then tomorrow then. No. I can't do it from 2 to 6 p.m. What? Before or after? I can't do it during that time from 2 to 6 p.m. I get off at 10. We can do it. Just watch okay. season one. Sounds good for me. Anyway. <clears throat> Nail. Like and subscribe. Yeah, super comic subscribe to Thank Heroes you. to Heroes. Thank you for watching us. No, don't let that person in. Did you take God his coat? God damn it, Nail. I have a coat, super comic guru. <laughs> okay. Nail. Kick his ass. Okay, hey, let's do a combined nail on three, two, one. Nail. Three, two, one. Nail. Nail. That was fun. I don't All know right, why I did it right. four times. Bye, everyone. Later, everyone. This is. I've been Zach. I'm Josh. That's Josh, and that's Chandler. I'm super so comic. This is my chance time while we talk about uh, super team, team four, four stars. stars season one and possibly two. We'll decide on that after this podcast. I'm watching because Chandler just wants us to watch everything. I just want to watch more nail.